Well, hello there. It's Saturday, February 4th, and we're at 35W North. We're heading to QO Blacksmith Lounge to go see a vintage sled show. It's going to be 35 degrees and beautiful. We're going to go check out some old sleds. So, see ya. And here he is, the home of the giant chicken. I guess we're, we're welcome sled event. event. Oh, look at all these cars. I know this is now, crazy. This, this is crazy. sled quarters. No. Any, any right spot will do, Mike. We're gonna walk up one end and down the other. Of course, it's an Arctic cat, so it's got a toolbox in the back. is that when you groom a trail right now you're gonna put me on the spot see what it does is it, it takes the air out of the snow that's what he said why well, watch the video it compresses the snow and takes the air so it's denser and it stays that's why it gets all like a like a smooth surface that's airless snow yeah and the more you can take the air out of the snow the denser it is the longer it lasts okay let me explain this to you guys Okay, the snow this year has been so wow, full of moisture fire. and so dense that even when we had like, let me back up a little bit. Even when we had like some warm days and rain and stuff, it really went melt fast because it's so thick and dense to begin with. Therefore, the snowpack has been very good for snowmobiling this year because it's good for trail packing and uh, the groomers don't like take it all away and stuff. Yeah, that's my opinion, my expert opinion, of course. Yeah. Puxatani Mike. Puxatani. <laughs>